Hello, my name is Sharon Jun Jung, and I'm a researcher in Nano Primo Research Center. Today, I would like to talk about the new circuitry system called the Primo Vascular System. What comes to your mind when you think of body circuitry system? Most of people will say blood vascular system and lymphatic system. But there is another one called the Primo Vascular System, surely PVS. Then, what is a Primo Vascular System? For a long time, vascular and lymphatic circulatory system has been well known to the public as body circulatory system. However, in early 1960s, the new novel circulatory system was discovered by Pong An Kim, but it had to be ignored until its rediscovery by the Seoul National University team in 2002. It was introduced as a third circulatory system in addition to blood and lymphatic circulatory system. And it is an atomical structure corresponding to the acupuncture meridians. Then, where can we find the third system in our body? The PVS is a complex network distributed in various parts of an animal's body. Here are some images of a PVS distributed in brain, internal organs such as a heart, liver, and inside of vessels. Why do we think this work is necessary? Although its existence was confirmed, until now many people wonder whether this preovascular system is imaginary or real due to the many barriers existing in carrying out the experiment, such as reproducing the same result as our original experiment. So, we felt it necessary of writing detailed protocol for the other researchers to obtain pure preovascular system tissue and make them to challenge to identify the relevant molecules that may be exploited as markers for the preovascular system endothelium. Second, because preovascular system is very transparent itself, it is very hard to visualize in bare eyes, so it requires much skill and technical know-how to absorb during the experiment. Why did we specifically choose to visualize a preovascular system floating in a lymph flow? Among the preovascular system found in various parts of the body, we focused to detect and image the thread-like structures floating freely in the lymphatic flow in the lymph vessel, because based on two reasons, which are, it is the most convincing demonstration method of the preovascular system. Second, compared to preovascular system found in other organs, Preovascular system found inside the lymphatic duct could be seen directly, so it reduced the chance of confusion from the artifact. Prepared Russian blue will be injected into bilateral lumbar node in abdomen using a syringe. After injection, wait for the dye to travel along the lymph vessel. With all these procedures, what could we observe? With the aid of staining dye, the presence of the preovascular system has been impressively demonstrated as a thread-like structures floating in lymphatic flow. It was observed in the large caliber lymph duct near the caudal vena cava over red. After a certain period of time, the stained preovascular system washed by natural lymph flow will emerge. You could easily observe the freely floating thread-like structure inside of a lymph duct. Here is a picture. It shows a stained preovascular system. Check for the side of the preovascular vessel passes through the lymph valve or the branching of the lymph duct with the preovascular system. Here is a short movie shows the free movement of preovascular vessel inside a lymph duct. How do we distinguish preovascular system from others? To prevent confusion with other artifacts, we have testing the distinct characteristic of preovascular system using DAPI and followed in followed by immunohistochemistry analysis. Mainly, we tested these three things. First, shape of endothelial nuclei. Second, a bundle of several cell vessel structure of preo vessel. Third, preo vessel's elasticity. The primo vascular system can be identified positively by observing the distribution of nuclei in the longitudinal section to distinguish the primo vascular system from blood and lymph vessels. The nuclei of the endocellular cells of preo vessels are arranged in the fashion of parallel broken lines and they are rod shaped, about 10 to 20 micrometer in length. These features can be easily checked with a DAPI staining. 
Then next, check for the elasticity. The usual thickness of a prio vessel is about 20 to 30 micrometer. If it is thicker than 50 micrometer, it is likely that it is aggregated with lymphocyte and fibrin. If the size is correct in a range, this blue thread-like structure should be tested for its elasticity in order not to be confused with an artifact. Lines temporarily formed by staining dye aggregations, which are easily crushed to pieces by shaking lymph duct. Immunohistochemistry analysis data clearly shows that periovascular system is different from others. The immunostaining with EMP3 positive revealed that the outer part of the periovascular system are composed of epithelial cells, while BWA positive staining shows that the inner cells are endothelium nature. In this image, the yellow arrowhead shows those results. Why do we think this is very important subject research? At the present time, some important suggestions in connection with immune cells, stem cells, and cancer metastasis have already appeared. The abundance of immune cells in the prima node, which suggests the preovascular system might play an important role in the immune mechanism, such as an anti-inflammatory effect. Here is the supporting data of this statement, which was published in Cytokine in 2012. The preovascular system genesis around the cancer tissue and its possible role as an additional path for the cancer metastasis. The abundance of catecholamine-producing cells in the preovascular system has led to conjecture of the hormone conduit function. Lastly, the primo microcells are postulated to be the embryonic like adult stem cells. The main function of primo microcell is a regeneration in damaged tissue. In this short video, I can explain all the details. But lastly, I would like to emphasize the significance of this work. This step-by-step -step work will lead us to expand the range of the preovascular system observation for fully tracing the preovascular system network to reveal its connection with the other class of preovascular system. And at the same time, want to develop a molecular level understanding of the structure and the function of a preovascular system by following a path similar to that followed in the development of the lymphatic system, the LIVE-1.